Today, we're gonna to talk about how to win the technical interview. The three essential tips that we use, whether you're a seasoned pro or a junior, these three tips will almost guarantee that you win that next technical interview. If you're looking to break in to get that first software job, go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. We would love to be your teacher, your coach, your mentor to help you get that first software job. That's coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. And please remember to subscribe if you like our content here. We'd love to interact with you on the comments as well. What I'm gonna tell you is gonna change the way that you technically interview. I truly believe that these are secrets that we only have inside of Coder Founding. The reason our candidates perform so well is because they follow these three steps. But you need to have a couple of things in place before this will work for you. Um, the first thing I need you to understand is that you must know how to learn to code, okay? So I'm assuming you already know how to code. If not, you need to go to a boot camp or go to an online course or go to college or whatever you need to do. But I'm assuming that you learned that you know how to code. The second thing that you need is you need a portfolio that consists of business level projects. And business level projects are you know, something to database, something that solves a business problem. And the third thing I'm assuming that you have is you have a laptop so that you can demo these projects to a hiring manager. So if you've got all that in place, let's move on to the first step. In any technical interview, you're gonna have an opening statement or the first thing that you say to that prospective hiring manager or dev manager or whoever's interviewing you. And it's very crucial that in the opening, you talk about something very specific. And let me give you an example of what you need to say. So um, first thing you do is you thank them for your time. So you say, hey, thank you for taking the time to interview you. The second thing you need to do inside that opening statement is also express your interest in the job. So you say, hey, thank you for taking the time to interview you, and I really like what you're doing here. It sounds like you have assembled a rock star team and I really would like to work here. I know that you have lots of questions, but I would like to offer this. Could you take the time to review my portfolio? I think my portfolio really does demonstrate extremely well what I can do and then together we can determine if I'm a fit for your organization. So do you mind taking a little time to look at my portfolio? Now, that opening statement is asking the interviewer to look at your portfolio of business projects. Now, I want you to know that this is a strategy that we employ at Cutter Founder that works exceptionally well. What we're trying to do is to get them off this list of what I call code trivia. Typically in a technical interview, they have 10 to 15 or 20 of these kind of code trivia questions that you have to answer based on your short-term memory, okay? Now, depending on how well you are at these things, you may perform really well in there or you may perform really bad because we get nervous, we're under lots of pressure, they may ask a question that's not well formed, you may not understand it, there could be a language barrier between you and them, there could be lots of things that would cause you to underperform by just allowing them to dictate the questions to you. What I'm asking you to do is get rid of that list by asking them to look at your portfolio first, okay? And demo what they're doing. Now, what we're doing is they will decide yes or no to look at that portfolio. If they say yes, we're gonna go to the third step, which is called the show. But let's just say they said, no, we don't really wanna look at that, okay? Now remember, your goal is to demo this piece of software that you have, it's not to answer 50 what I would call code trivia questions. So make sure in that opening statement you say, hey, would you look at my portfolio? I think it's the best way that we can determine. Now, if we do this and we achieve this, I want you to understand what you've done. You've taken it from a short-term memory test to an open book test by showing them a piece of software you have. And hopefully if you do a good job, they'll start asking you questions based on your portfolio and not on the interview question. Because remember, the interviewer just wants to either rule you in or rule you out for the job, and they don't really, they're not tied to these questions, they just think that's the best way to determine if you can code or not. But if you show them a working piece of software, that really does demonstrate extreme, extremely well whether you can code or not. So remember, opening question, ask them to look at your portfolio. Let's say that you, you follow my advice and you did the opening question. You said, hey, will you look at my portfolio? And the interviewer said, no, we have a process. We wanna ask you these certain questions and they don't wanna see your portfolio, okay? Let's say they did that. What I want you to do is continue to open up your laptop, push power and power that thing on and get ready to demo that. 
because what we're going to follow here is what I call the redirect. Now, let's say that you're interviewing for an MVC job. ASP.NET MVC with C Sharp. And that's typically what our Code Defender graduates here are interviewing for. But this could apply to React or PHP or Perl or whatever it is you're interviewing for, okay? They're gonna ask you a fundamental, easy softball question about the language overall to open up the, the valley of the valley of asking you questions. So they may ask you a question like this: What is MVC? Typically, when we get asked a bunch of technical interview questions, what I call co-trivia questions about what we do, we try to immediately go to the academic answer, okay? Now, what we're talking about is how do we get off this list? Remember, our goal is to get off this list of questions into where we're demoing our software. So when they ask you, what is MVC? You can simply say, yeah, that stands for a model view controller. It's a design pattern that is used to separation of concerns. You could do something like that. But I tell you that the academic answer doesn't demonstrate whether you can code or not. It demonstrates that you have the knowledge to answer the question, but it doesn't show if you can code. So here's how you answer that question in the most beneficial way to you possible. Yeah, everyone knows that MVC is model view controller. Everyone knows that it's a design pattern. And it has separation concerns. A lot of people know about that. I used MVC and this is where you redirect them. I used MVC to build a portfolio and I have this bug tracker that I built utilizing MVC design pattern. For example, on that one page, my homepage there, it goes through and uses MVC to display information, okay? And so what you do is there, you go into a technical deep dive on how that page was written using the technology that they asked you about. And then you ask this question, you know, what I could do is I've got my laptop here. What if I just turn this around and show you the code and walk you through the code of my portfolio to see so I can demonstrate how I would use MVC in a project. That's the redirect. Now what's going to happen there is they're either going to look at your portfolio or they're going to say, no, we've got another question. So let me take another more standard question and help show you how you could redirect that. So let's say then they said, well, what do you know about object oriented programming? Or, you know, does C sharp support inheritance? things like that, some very base level C-sharp questions that you could get in an interview, you would say, well, you know, inside my, my folio, I use inheritance every day. For example, a controller inherits from the controller base class, every controller, and I can show you one of the controllers I wrote and demonstrate how that inheritance helped me build this application. Would you like to see my portfolio? And you can see where I'm going here. If you get to five questions and you've answered them from an academic way, and then you go directly into a concrete example of a piece of code that you have. Let me restate that. Abstract academic, you need to quickly move over to concrete something that you've built and ask them to look at it. Eventually, they'll look at that portfolio. And that is the redirect. So how do you prep for redirect questions? That's easy. If you're, if you're interviewing for ASP.C Sharp questions, what I want you to do is find the top 20, just Google, the top 20 C sharp questions, Google them, and then start looking through those and relate every one of those questions to some part of your portfolio and know that how you're going to redirect them. Yes, you do need to know the answers to these, but we don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the academic realm. We want to say, okay, I understand what you're saying. This is what that is. Now this is where I used it on my portfolio, redirect them to your portfolio and get them to do a code walkthrough. If you can get them to do a code walkthrough, you've went from closed book test to now open book test. And that is a whole lot easier to walk them through code than it is to memorize a bunch of answers to a questions that you may not know what they are. So in the first five questions, you should be able to redirect them and to look at your portfolio. So you got them looking at your portfolio, either through your opening statement or at a redirect question. And now the interviewer is looking at your laptop or maybe if they had a projector, you've projected your portfolio on the screen. You have now what I tell every Coder Friendly student is you have taken control of the interview, but you're not there yet. We're not home yet. We still need to win right here. So here's the thing that you need to do. Just like a good magician, a good magician will say, look at this hand over here, and they really got the red ball in their pocket or in their hand over here. You need to show them what you want them to see, which is, we're not trying to deceive people. What I want you to show them is the thing that is the most, um, the piece of software that you know the most about, the one that you know cold, the one that you can pretty much walk through line by line, okay, that demonstrates your ability to code. 
And a lot of mistakes are do not demo or show code of something that you're not familiar with or you haven't looked at um, in a while. So make sure that you've reviewed this code before the interview, you know it down every single line and then start walking them through that code. And that is part of the show method. You show them what you want them to see and then when you start showing it, you can talk about it at a very detailed technical level. What you'll see is the interviewer will go off his list or her list and start asking you questions about your projects. You've taken control of the interview and that is the show. So demo the software at a high level like you're selling it and then walk them through the code behind the scenes inside of your IDE like Visual Studio or something like that. So let's recap. I want to open a question that, that um, asks to look at your portfolio. If they don't look at it, Every single technical question they would ask you there, you redirect. And third, then you show the code and show them what you want them to see in your portfolio and only show things that you know a lot about. Okay, so that is the method, but I've got one more bonus tip that will really seal it home for you. Okay, here's the bonus tip and how you close out an interview. Typically an interview a guy will ask you a question, a girl will ask you a question and say, hey, do you have any questions for me? And we as technical people, a lot of times struggle with this question. We don't know what to ask. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to ask and I'm also gonna tell you exactly what not to ask, okay? Um, when they're asking you the question, hey, do you have any questions for me? Here's your best number one question that you can ask them is say, hey, what are you guys trying to build here at a technical level? Like what, what's the goal of this role and what are you trying to build? Um, the reason we ask that is I walked in and when I was interviewing before I started Cutter Foundry, I was interviewing for technical jobs and I remember walking into a place and they were asking me a lot of questions about SQL and store procedures and we were having a great time talking. And then um, finally I asked them a question and said, hey, what are you guys trying to build here? The dev manager and the technical lead talked for like 25 minutes about work. They just start chatting about work. And what I did was like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, I would really like to work on that. That's really cool. Um, and you notice what I was doing is reinforcing their work. And I was interested in what they're doing. So imagine this, let's say you went on a date and you're dating someone and you never asked them about what they're like or what their interests are. You only talked about yourself. That second day's not coming. And so like what you want to do in, in this realm is the same thing. Show interest in what they do for a living and what the projects are going to be and how they code it and do all those things and get them talking about work. That is the strong question. What you don't need to ask about anything is anything negative when they say, hey, do you have any questions for us? Like, hey, what's work-life balance like? Or what, you can use that with your recruiter to find out what the job's like. That's not the time to ask that question. You wanna ask questions that they're interested in, show interest in them, and you can seal this home. So hopefully you've showed them your portfolio, you've walked them through the things that you want to do, and then you showed them Hey, I'm really interested in you as a person and what you do for a living. And those kind of things, boom, you're gonna get a technical interview, win, and you're gonna get that job. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.